acoustic lesson. So I got a couple of messages on Instagram and Facebook uh, from some of my subscribers asking, um, can you do a video on how you're finger picking uh, when I'm picking some of these, uh, doing the tutorials on some of these songs. So I um, wanted to show you guys um, how I use my how I finger pick and, and literally I just I just use these three fingers and this is what a lot of if you watch um, I don't want to say if you watch but if you watch um, you know like Bethel or Elevation or any of the guys playing acoustic guitar and they're in a, they're doing a finger picking uh, song or just a section of a song watch how active their thumb is so the thumb is the key the thumb. Um, the thumb is really active. It's almost doubling as a fourth, um, fourth finger. So let me show you what I mean. Um, you, like with me, I try to keep everything simple. I, I try to minimize my, my unnecessary movements and the, the unnecessary moving pieces. So like with, with the easy G shapes, I, I always try to keep these two fingers locked on the bottom, right? So G, C, D, E minor. If I'm playing in this in the shape of um, in the key of C, I keep these two fingers pretty much locked in there. C, F, A minor, G, so on and so forth. The same is true with with finger picking. And I used to really struggle with finger picking um, until I just started like watching some of these videos. And I'm like, they don't seem to be moving their finger like their hands that much. And I guess I just eventually just um, it just became natural, and that's how I how I finger pick now. Um, so so what I do. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna basically I just I lock my my um my ring finger and my pinky I just I place those on the on the high E string so literally those stay there pretty much the entire time there will be um a little bit of uh, I might change a little bit I might I might well you'll see um, so those, that's kind of like the foundation. Those, those two fingers stay in there. So your hand's not going to be like moving off and your fingers aren't going to be constantly moving off the, the strings. You're going to keep those fingers locked there as kind of your base and your foundation. We're building a house. So that's your base and foundation. Your, your middle finger is always assigned to the B string. So that's your second string from the bottom. And your pointer finger is always assigned the, well, I guess I shouldn't say always. Someone will probably put a comment or something like, oh, that's not true. But um, your pointer finger is usually always gonna be assigned to that, that uh, G string, third one from the bottom. So essentially, this is your foundation right here. I usually keep, um, my fingers like this. So if I'm, if I have a picking part on a song and, and it doesn't come until the second verse, I'll literally just kind of like get in my chord formation and be ready to go in. Like my fingers are locked in there. They're ready to, they're ready to pick. So your thumb, I said this earlier, it kind of doubles as like a, as like a, as your fourth finger. So your thumb is always assigned to these top three strings. So the E string, the A string, and the D string. So a lot of times when, when you finger pick, the point of finger picking is to use your thumb to pick the bass note of each chord. So if we were doing a progression, um, uh, C, G, D. We'd start on that C, the, the bass note is obviously that middle finger. Right, so the second string from the from the top. So that's what you would pick with your thumb. The next one would be the G chord. The D chord's a little bit different because you're you're actually just plucking the um, open D string because that's the bass note of the D. So that's the first part of, of finger picking. So the the second part, I, I usually always um, go this pattern and remember we're, this is our foundation pointer finger third string from the bottom middle finger second string from the bottom and then I got the the ring and the pinky just kind of hanging onto that bottom string and you can't hurt the strings either so don't be afraid to you know get in there pretty good <clears throat> so this is my pattern 
thumb, pointer. Uh, so, so thumb, pointer, thumb on the, so it's on, on the open string, on the D string. So th thumb, pointer, thumb, D string, you know, fourth string from the bottom, then middle finger. So, and like my hands, my hands not moving. So it's staying there. So you can just do that a couple times and, and get that, get that feeling down. Thumb pointer, uh, thumb on the, well, I guess actually it's not open. Um, I have my uh, pointer finger on that D string. So thumb, pointer, thumb, middle finger. So we go to the G chord, same deal. These, your fingers aren't moving. Your hand isn't moving on the bottom here. So thumb, bass note, pointer, thumb on that. Now, now it's open on the D string, middle finger. So thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle finger. So just those two chords alone, you're, you're picking the same strings. So the C9 to the G. Then if you went to the D, it would just be the, the, the bass note would be that D string, it'd be open. And you again, your, your pointer finger and your middle finger are staying on the same string. So thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. So on that D chord, your thumb is actually hitting that uh, D string twice. So I wanna say this isn't the only way you can finger pick. You can do other like country finger picking styles or blues finger picking styles where your fingers are moving all over the place. But if you want to like see, I don't want to say see immediate results, but if you want to improve drastically and improve um, quickly, learn this picking pattern because there are so many songs that, I mean, now there are some songs where I do a variation of this where, so, so let's take, um, and I'm going to do a, just a couple of songs in different keys, different chords to show you that, wow, well, this isn't, you know, you're just, you're just doing this all with these easy G chords. This, this pattern applies across all keys. Uh, so the key of C, the key of E, the key of D, and the key of G. I don't really play in any of the other open ones, <clears throat> like the key of B or anything like that. So, um, so let's say, let's take build my life, for example. It, go, it, it starts on the G, then it goes to the C9, and then it goes to this G over B. So this is the way I would play it, I, just like I showed you. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Same thing on each, on each chord. Now, sometimes I might mix that up and just instead of doing, um, instead of going thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, I might go thumb, thumb, pointer, middle. If it's just, if, if the song calls for a simple pattern um, and a simple picking pattern, you don't want it to be busy, to have a busy picking pattern and a really nice soft um, good worshipful moment of the song. So I might do something like this. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. More or less the same thing. I'm just changing the thumb on uh, the on the one part. So. <clears throat> 
the key is you don't you you want to just keep your fingers kind of keep that base down there that's your foundation and and sometimes um sometimes i will pick this um i'll use my my ring finger which for me it's always kind of been a little bit uncomfortable because i don't have a lot of strength and not strength but control i guess over my my ring finger um so picking that string um, I, I do it sometimes because uh it, it feels good and it sounds good but that requires me to take off like take off my my foundation my foundation on this string that's keeping these this whole structure together if that makes sense um so another song um which i'll show you waymaker we'll do this one in the key of d you are here working in our midst i worship you i worship you you are here mending every heart ring finger i worship you ring i worship you so uh, another thing that i'm doing is, is in between those chords if it is a soft and like really a uh, just soft moment i'll just play around with my thumb and my my pointer finger on the, on those two strings so you'll hear that a little bit so worship you you are here do, 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 do. so you're not really like playing those so that they can be heard you're kind of just keeping a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of something in the background so it's just not all dead space um uh, another song so we'll go key of e uh jesus we love you and just watch my fingers and my hand like they're not going anywhere they're same 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 pattern same same motion oh how we love you you are the one of our hearts adore ring finger oh how we love you Oh, how we love you. And so the ring finger sounds good every once in a while. It sounds good, a new note. But again, it, it makes it, it even it makes me take my fingers kind of off that formation, and I got to quickly get, kind of get back to it, um, which can sometimes be a little bit problematic if you're in the middle of a song or set. Um, so um, the last song. So what a beautiful name. We'll go key of C. So. Um, course what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of Jesus Christ my king what a beautiful name it is nothing can stand against do 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 the name of Jesus. So if if you see me like picking some additional strings in between, it's it's just it's always gonna be the pointer the pointer string and this this uh, thumb the second thumb on that fourth string from the bottom. Just kind of like creating a little bit of sound and a little bit of uh, noise, but but good noise. It's not it's not dead silence. So <clears throat> I'm not saying that's the only way you can finger pick. Again, that's the that's the easiest way um, I've just kind of learned, and I wish I I wish I knew it um, years ago. Um, there's a bunch of other different ways you can finger pick, but this is probably the most common way, or one of the most common ways that you know you see worship leaders or really good good guitar players, um, do, you know, do their finger picking songs. Um, 
Yeah, so I hope that helped. And um, if it was helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want, if you if you want to see more of this stuff, or if you want uh, a, a, a more in depth lesson, I mean, this video is probably like twenty minutes, so I don't know how much more in depth I can go, but. Um, if you need help, I guess, on some of this stuff, just put a comment below or send me a message on Facebook or on Instagram. I have those um, posted on the channel. And um, yeah, I hope that helps. I think it's really going to help you a ton. It helped me a ton. That's how I teach all my students to, to finger pick. Um, with, with the understanding, this isn't the only way you're going to finger pick in your life. This isn't the only way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it that sounds really, really good that will help get your fingers kind of that muscle memory. So, hope it helps. I, I think it will. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Drop a comment, and I'll talk to you later on.